I'm going to do another quick walkthrough now. I'm looking at some tomato slices for my pasta dish. So I'm going to start by drawing a circle. Now looking into it, it looks like it's divided into three equal sections. So if you can do the maths, that's quite good. Just divide it roughly. It's organic, so we can have a degree of variation about it. Now the flesh of the tomato relative to the scale of the object looks about that wide. Notice the very, very rough underdrawing I'm doing. Looks a little bit like a Mercedes car badge at the moment. And into these sections, there is like a sort of central area. And then concentric with the center point. Um, and then the flesh comes out and round to shape it like a soft hammerhead. I'm going to repeat that three times. It's organic, so kind of a degree of variation, remember. Look back at the reference material. It's not particularly even. In places they undulate a little bit, so I'm going to put that into it. Now, I can see the seeds into this, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to count on this particular one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight into there. So I'm going to divide up my section, divide again, divide again, and I now know I'm going to put about two in each one. Remember, maths is important when you're doing your working out in a drawing like this. Now I'm going to look a bit closer, I can see the seeds are at slightly different angles. See now I'm beginning to weight the line up, in places I'm pressing a little bit harder, in other places not so. They don't all be, look like they're coming down to the fleshy bit in the centre, some look slightly higher. But see how the variation of weighting so the line makes it a little bit more visually interesting. Now this area is very wet, I can see the, the highlights into it. I'm going to look how even that line is. It's not particularly even. You know when you eat a tomato, you know that yourself. So you might want to add some variables to that section. This bit comes down and touches into there. I might make that slightly smaller to accommodate that and make that slightly smaller on this one. And then the outside is a very, very, very clear line. Think about the smooth edge of a tomato. So I need to really work that line is a very clean line. See here, it's not entirely clear, but at the moment I'm just building it up. We'll come back to that clean line. And we often talk about outline. I'm bringing in my friend Bart. Now, if you look at the image of Bart, this is an outline, a very, very clear outline. Quite often when we're shading, we are shading to an edge and hiding its outline, its boundary. If you look at the muscles I've done here, I've shaded up to those edge points so we do not have the outline it is worked into the image. Here, this is a line drawing and we are working to an outline at this point in time.